Jason with United Marine. We're here today looking at the 280 Go Fish Twin V. This is a beautiful boat. It's, it's very big inside, as you will see. It is, comes equipped with uh, twin 250s. Uh, these 250s will take this boat about 52 miles an hour, uh, but at cruising speed you can get uh, just over two, two, two and a half miles to the gallon. Uh, this boat with motors weighs in at about 8,500 pounds and uh, only drafts at about 20 inches. Uh, this is a great boat as uh, you will see. Let's step inside. On top of the boat you can see this is very big. Look how big the uh, swim dive station is. You can easily cast nets, fishing poles off of here. It's a great place uh, for people, for families even, not just fishermen, but families as well. We have the freshwater wash down. Inside, at the bottom, we have the raw water wash down. The uh, openings as you get inside, you'll see to the bilge pumps are very massive, easy to get into. I've actually been able to crawl into those if you need to get into the bilge pump. Right here, we have a nice, large live well that you can look into, glass top, with the bait station, the tackle boxes. We have six rod holders, as well as cup holders and rod holders along this sides all the way up. As we come farther up into the boat, you'll see this has a really nice big T-top. Lots of coverage, we need to get out of the sun. We step forward, continuing with the thought of fishing, we have more storage. One, up, one here, one on the other side. It holds um, tackle boxes, plenty of places to put knives, other things that you need. In the gunnel we have a place for rod holders. This beautiful area right there. As well as, I'll show you the fish box comes equipped on each side. Looking here in the helm, it's nice LeBrock captain seats, beautiful upholstery, as well as here at the steering wheel, you have all your needs here for um, lighting, horn, raw water, bilge, everything you possibly need. Waterproof box here. Put your phone, there's a, uh, an adapter for a USB or a phone charger, anything like that. We also have the Fusion Radio System. And this here, I don't know if you can tell by my hand, this is a large station. We can actually put multiple 16, 19 inch screens on here, or you could put four 10, 12 inch screens on here. This is a really, really nice area to be able to have all the electronics you could possibly want. We have an e-box here, nice place to keep anything extra that you need to protect and have, as well as if we continue up towards the front. This is a really nice design here. You have a nice big head, and then this is actually canvassed with the uh, battery and everything behind. Uh, it's, it's just a good cautionary safety. It looks good. It looks neat. And then we continue up. Step up here to the front. We've got a nice big area. I mean, look how big this is. You can sit comfortably, two people, just relaxing in the sun while the other people are working hard for dinner. They're getting those fish. We've got a really nice coffin box. Check that out. That is beautiful. That is nice. You can get a lot in there. And then on the front here, you also have the seating with storage. Same system here. You just lift them up. More storage. One there, one over here. Wonderful. And then to finish it off here up front, you have your anchor as long as as well as two storage compartments. One on either side right here. 
Um, again, with as many of our boats, this is, comes on the float on trailer, and we like to have the ladder on the front. The ladder is a very nice thing to have when you are at the dock, when you're loading, unloading. And uh, contrary to what people may think, this boat, even at its size, 28 feet with a 9.6 beam, this boat is very easy to dock, get on and off. Um, because of the design of the trailer, it just goes in, catches its spot, boom, you're up, you're out, no problem. So here we are. This is the 280 Go Fish. Hope you enjoy.